Hello everyone and welcome to my Stratford. This lovely old building, Mason's Court, has been here for hundreds of years. And in fact, I've been here for hundreds of years, as you well know. But we're going to go to the Mont. Now the Mont is, to anybody else, it's a fair, but to me as a Stratfordian, it's a very important thing. Every year, October the 12th, we have a Mont Fair. And back in the day, what was it, 14th, 15th century? Uh, it started, the very first mop started, and it was a, it wasn't a fair, it was somewhere where you could come and people would look for staff, they would look for employment. So, for instance, if you were a shepherd, you could come to the mop fair, and if you carried a crook, people would know that you were a shepherd. If you were a cook, you'd come along with a ladle and you'd stand there, and somebody could come and employ you, which is a brilliant thing. Um, if you didn't have a job, I think I'm right in saying, you held a mop. So two weeks after the mop, we have the runaway mop, which is exactly what it says. It's a time when, um, if you had been treated badly by your employer, um, or you had run away, literally, you didn't run the risk of being taken back. You could stand there and say, I'm sorry, Mr. Smith treated me ever so badly, sir. He used to pinch my bottom, something wrong, and I'm not gonna work there anymore. And Mr. Smith couldn't do anything about it. And then Mr. Brown would come along and employ you and then you'd go through the whole thing again. But the point of it is, once a year, um, the mock fair was a wonderful opportunity to um, put yourself up for sale. Now I'm going to go along and I'm going to see if they've got anything I could possibly ride on, like the chinny horses or something like that. Let's go. Come past this white van. White van man. Well, that's it for me. I've done the mop. Um, I'm quite exhausted and I'm just going to come have a little rest here down by the river on my way to my house. But I wanted to tell you what was going on at the moment. Well, as you probably know, I've just been in America. I was at Granite State Comic Con, which was a real adventure. Julian Glover, Doug Jones, what a treat to be with them. And of course, Julian, I shot the brute with back in the, goodness me, in the 70s. So it's always lovely to see him and to reminisce and Doug Jones, well, what can I say? Doug Jones gives the best hugs in the whole wide world and I am desperate to play his wife, a monster wife or something, on Star Trek Discovery. Anyway, the point of it is it was a great time and one of the marvellous opportunities it afforded me was that the day before, um, when I arrived there, I went into the studio. Now, when I tell you that Wonky Bot Studios, well, the producers are great, great friends of mine, I love the podcast. Tara Tremendous. If you haven't listened to it yet, you must. I am completely over the top uh, playing the Empress and we were trying to record the very last episode of this season and it was impossible. We tried London, we tried Birmingham, we tried Under My Bed, we tried Down Eli's Garden, we tried you name it. We just couldn't achieve it. Anyway, then I flew off to America and lo and behold there was a marvellous sound studio and they invited me in and I was able to record my completely over-the-top empress in all her glory. So that was fantastic. Then I went on to Los Angeles, which I was determined to do because my very dear, special, great friend Grace Jones was going to be performing at the Hollywood Bowl. So I sat under the stars and was able to enjoy her concert. Now it's fall in America. It's autumn here, consequently 
yellow leaves and a bit chilly. Got my scarf on, ready for winter. And I think the next thing I'm hoping in November, all things going well, I shall be going off to the Canary Islands to a film festival. So for those of you that know where the Canary Islands are, you know that it's a nice, warm, sunny spot. And of course it's Spanish and I love Spain, so that's going to be good. Christmas comes, Christmas goes, New Year. Then what do I have to look forward to? GalaxyCon! This is in March. It's going to be with my old, wonderful castmates, Jack O'Halloran, Jeff East. We're going to be there enjoying all the wonderfulness that is GalaxyCon. And um, I'm hoping to see some of you there too. And I believe there's going to be quite a Superman turnout. I'm not going to say anything more because maybe others won't come. Maybe they will. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to go home for a cup of tea. Um, I'm not going to light the fire, but it's almost that time of year. But meanwhile, I'm going to take in the view, just for five minutes. <laughs>